Is there a new king in our midst? I think there might be. This is the Riaton Alloy 9. Why do they call it the Alloy 9? Well, look at that metal case. I mean, this is one of the best made systems that I've seen when it comes to any mini PC. So already impressed when I took it out of the packaging. It, it looks great. It's really clean. It does have a pretty big power brick, but I mean, a lot of these do have a pretty big power brick. This features the Ryzen 9 7940HS. And right now that's the best CPU that I've seen in any mini PC. That includes the i9s. That includes the the brand new Ryzen 8 series stuff. It, it's better than those, except those have like a little more AI processing power if you care about. But this Ryzen 9 7940HS is ridiculously fast. And this one actually benchmarked better than the other Ryzen 9 that I've tested. Both of them. Thanks to Hookies for sponsoring this video. Now these are OEM Windows keys. That means that you do your own tech support. You're not going to be relying on Microsoft and they're generally locked to the hardware. We got a coupon code. Click on buy now. Put in coupon code TS25. Hit apply and that price comes down. Now when you compare that to the outrageous prices from Microsoft, you'd have to buy this many, many, many times to equal the price of one regular key from Microsoft. As of right now, this Windows 10 Pro key will unlock Windows 11. We also have Windows 10 Home. Windows 11, you can buy it directly. Windows 11 Home. And we have two flavors of Office. Once you're finished, all you have to do is click on your user account up here. Go to your user center. Click on My Purchase Orders. Just View, Keys, and Codes. And you can just copy and paste your key. Hit Start. Type Activate. Click on Activation Settings. Paste it in there. Click on Next. And you will be activated. So head on over to hookies.com to get yourself an OEM Windows key at a price that makes sense. Stay tuned for those benchmarks, but right now let's go through all the specs. You can get it on their website. It's a better deal than Amazon right now. This one came equipped with 32 gigabytes of DDR5, one terabyte MVME M.2. You got Windows 11 pre-installed, Wi-Fi 6E, and Bluetooth 5.3. You can hook up to four monitors to this. You've got two HDMI in the back, uh, and those will do 4K 60, and then we have two USB 4 in the front that'll do 8K 60 hertz. The DDR5 is DDR5 5600, capable of 69,156 megabytes per second. So this Ryzen 9 can pull between 35 and 54 watts. The maximum boost on this is 5.2 gigahertz. You got eight cores, 16 threads. Let's take a look at all the ports. On the front, we have two USB 4, 40 gigabits per second on each of those. Then we have our audio jack, it's microphone and headphone. Then there's a little reset hole right there in the front that you can press to reset, which is kind of cool. On the back, we have four USB 3.2 2 Gen 2. That's awesome. And those are the Type A ports. Then we have a 2.5 gigabit RJ45 Ethernet port, two of the HDMI 2.1, and this is metal. It feels great in your hands. The measurements are 127 by 127 by 45. Getting under the hood is slightly more complicated than some of the units out there because there are multiple layers. The feet come off easily. There's no glue or any nonsense. They've got little indentations where they fit together nicely. So you can just take the feet off and then remove four screws. And then underneath that, there is is sort of a heat sink with a fan and that's over top of where the M.2 is and your, your RAM. You can see the Kingston memory in there. I decided not to take that off. I can see there's another M.2 slot in there, an empty one, so I know that that's there, but uh, there's some cooling going on with the M.2, so I decided to leave it alone. We can see what's going on there. I'm not gonna change it out right now, but I'm glad to know that there is an additional spot for another M.2. Okay, that's the overview of the outside. I also did a full-on virus scan, came back completely clean. I looked around at all the usual suspects from where like a lot of the people see viruses. This just came with a vanilla copy of Windows 11 Pro, just like it should be straight from the factory, so thanks very much for doing that. Now let's get into the benchmarks and see how fast it is. Sit up. You know, one of the cool things about having a powerful mini PC like this is being able to play a whole bunch of old games. Like, for instance, this is the best game in the Myst franchise. Oh, hold on a minute. That's, that's the wrong one. This is the best game in the Myst franchise. So you could load up this old old game. You can get like a DVD drive or something for 12, 15 bucks and just plug it into the USB. Oh, wait, wait a minute. There's a brand new version of this game that just came out and it's fully 3D, meaning it's not a slideshow anymore. You can fully navigate around the world in first person, which you're, you're seeing me do right now. Now, I'm just at the beginning of the game. I wanted to let you know that it's available and it works beautifully on hardware like this. So if you have a mini PC or a laptop or whatever, and you want to be able to play something that's very interesting and also like very otherworldly, we don't have a lot of games. I feel like a lot of times we get like generic fantasy settings and generic modern settings and superhero settings and, and whatnot, but there's not this just kind of out there and weird and different and that's something that we got with the mist franchise and i think this 
might be the best example. So you can grab a copy of Riven. I'm going to put the link down in the description. Thanks to them for sending over a key. I actually uh, bothered them because I wanted to replay this. This works great. Go ahead and check that out in the description. Now we're trying out Baldur's Gate 3. I'm running this on the high setting. We're getting around 33 FPS right now. 34 FPS. Yes, you want to leap from there. Yes. 37, 40. Uh, yeah, it's doing pretty good on the high setting. And we'll see how it is once we get down here to the tree. This is going to be probably okay for most people because it doesn't need to have crazy FPS since it's a turn-based game. But if you want it to be a little bit smoother while you're running around, especially if you're like me and you're running the WASD mod, well, you might want to turn it down to medium, which still looks really good. But let's just see how it plays down here. So we've been averaging right around the mid-30s the whole time, especially in this area. I expected it to be a little crazier because of the geometry right there. We're dropping into the 30s. All right, let's go ahead and change. Oh, by the way, I'm also running FSR 2.2 on ultra quality mode and we got 1080p going on here. Let's try medium and I'll also put FSR back on because I think it looks pretty good um, if you're on a decent sized screen and you're up close looking at all the pixels maybe you want to turn that off but I think it looks okay. 38. So it gave us a handful of extra FPS. You can also mess around with the FSR settings but I would play through this game on this system if it's what you got and you want to play this game, by all means, but you got to play this game. That's the rules. All right, we're going to hop into Cyberpunk, and we are doing the just the high setting. I always put it on high, then I come down and turn off motion blur, and we are running at 1080p. So I'm going to run the benchmark and see how we do on the high setting, which is probably too much for this, but I don't know. It's been so fast, I kind of want to go crazy. Well, would you look at that? 36.92 average FPS on high. The minimum barely drop below 30 so we're going to try this again on medium but i did not expect it to be this good on high i mean the intels can't do this on low so <laughs> ray tracing overdrive no thank you and there we go 1080p we'll do a medium benchmark probably how i recommend most people play it well i mean custom settings are always going to be best but medium will be a good starting point and then you can tweak it to your heart's content but yeah i think you'll be able to play this just fine Look at that. Outdoors, we're 55 FPS right now. Let's see what the average is. 48 average. Minimum 40. Extremely playable. We're going to go ahead and say this is going to be an awesome system for playing Cyberpunk at decent resolution, at decent frame rates, with some pretty good graphical quality. All right, that's it. The fastest valley score that I've seen. 74.7 FPS. Now, I've tested another 7940HS. I've tested a couple and I think the fastest that I've seen is around the 70 FPS mark, 69.7. So this is faster than the other 7940HS that I've tested. It's faster than the 8 series that I've tested. This is fast. Final score 3124 and it's completely silent during this test. Let's have a look at superposition. This thing is going crazy. Look at the minimum is above 30, 33.59. That's not something I see very often with this, uh, you know, systems like this. Average 40.21 and here's our final result 5376. All right, let's try out Geekbench 6 and see how we do. Here's our final single core, 26.99, and the multi-core, 13.5.16. Scroll down, let you take a look at all the individual tests here. You'll have to pause if there's anything in particular you want to take a look at closely. And then over here is our OpenCL score, 35.225, and you can see all our specs right there. Wonderful. And there's the details. I decided to do a quick check of the hard drive just to make sure that it's running pretty well. Looks all right to me. So 4,000 on the on the read, about 3,141 on the right. Let's take a look at the IOPS over here. All right, let's have a look at Cinebench. Here's the single core score. They put it way up on top, and yes, it is fast, but just note that these underneath there, that's like a couple generations ago. So the Intels are probably just as fast when it comes to the single core performance, but they're not going to be as fast when it comes to the multi-core performance in general. This is faster than some of the old Threadrippers. It's faster than, <laughs> faster than a lot of things, faster than small Xeons. God, it's like twice as fast as the 7700K. Yeah, this is, you could render plenty of stuff on this. It'll work just fine. So here's our scores up at the top. Multi-core 16654, single core 1794. All right, I've got hardware info open. You know what that means. It's time to open these sensors. It's time to open ADA64. 
and it's time to click on the fire. And then I'm gonna hit start. We're doing a full on stress test and I'll be monitoring the temperatures both here and also over here on hardware info. So we'll let this run for about 15 minutes and then I'll test the, uh, the sound as well. I wanna note right now that this is probably the quietest system I've heard so far, but we'll see if that changes in a minute. Okay, right here at my desk, this is what we're getting. The room's kind of loud. So I'm gonna put it a couple feet away and we'll check. And there we go. It did raise the decibel level just a little bit, but it's kind of a background hum. The sound is uh, constant, doesn't sound too bad. I'm gonna call this one relatively quiet. Obviously you can hear it because many PCs are not silent by nature because they're so small, but it's better than a lot. Once it ramped up, I'm gonna say it's not the best I've heard, but it's like, you know, within the top few. Back on over here, let's see how we're doing. Only been nine minutes, but I wanna check the heat. That's getting hot. Maybe that's why it's so fast, because they let it get hot. After 15 minutes, it doesn't look like it's gonna get any hotter than this. It uh, maxed out at around 89.9. It probably spiked up to that, I wasn't here. So, see the average there, and then what it is right now. The TJ Max on this is 100 degrees, so this is okay in my opinion. Just fine, it's worth it for how quiet this is. So I think this is quite acceptable. Remember when people used to think you had to burn things in? Remember those days? So when it comes to mini PCs, there's like fast. I would put this one like right at the stupid category of stupid fast because it's a bit ridiculous. And it's also not incredibly loud. You know, you can't hear it while you're playing games and stuff, but to me it's not that big of a deal. I can hear right now I've got Cyberpunk running in the background. I forgot to close it out. It's on the side screen over there, but it's quieter than most. So you do hear a small bit of whir, but yeah, this is, I don't know, I'm trying to think of some negative stuff to say, but really this is the best implementation I've seen of that Ryzen 9 7940HS. It's awesome. If you're looking for the one and you only need one ethernet port, I know some have two and they're going to be using these for servers or whatever, I would probably not recommend this as a server because it only has the one ethernet port, but it, you know, you can always use USB ethernet that works, you know, just fine as well. And they make 2.5 gigabit ethernet adapters for 15 bucks. So, you know, if, don't let it stop you, but it's up to you. But everything else, editing, gaming, just whatever, it's going to be fast on this machine. I like this one so much that I'm thinking about swapping out my living room PC for this one because it's a little bit faster. And last, I'll show you what we have on sale over here. So I'm going to put a few of these t-shirts on sale. Just see what's on sale. I got some awesome t-shirts. I need to clear up a lot of that stuff back there. So I, I don't mention it much. Whenever I mention stuff, people like will run over and be like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. But also these are on sale, half price right now for, for my favorite mouse, the one I'm using right now on my desk. There it is. I've got all kinds of mice around here. I've been testing stuff, but yeah, that one half price. I don't need to sell it any harder than that, right? It feels great. It's got a flawless infrared sensor. And then this is still half price as well. So anyway, head over to epicpants.com, check out the deals, and I'll see you online.